Oh, if only your name was Tim. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tin Jen. Tam Jan? Jen Tim. Jen. Chitty Chitty Jen Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, happy coming out day! Coming out day is a wonderful day where we celebrate people coming out of their shells. So coming out can encompass all different types of things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean your sexual orientation, it can mean your gender identity, it can mean types of relationships, like you can, your uh, romantic style, your any of all this stuff. This is a space where you can come, you can watch, you can hear about things, and then you can talk in the comments and talk about your stuff and tweet at us and it'll be a good time. We have a very special guest today to talk about coming out. Um, she's a good friend of the show. Tanya's here. Come here, Tan. Come on in. Yay. Crawl in through the side door of the closet. Hey, Hello. buddy. How, how you buddy. doing? Hey, mate. Yeah, we might have to be thigh to thigh a little bit. You know how tall you are in centimeters. Yeah, like about 185 centimeters, I'm pretty sure. Tanya about is six tall. feet. Hey, my name's Tan. I'm Australian, gay, and so excited to be here today. Happy coming out day. It's awesome. What pronouns do you use? Uh, she and her. Is my elbow on your knee okay like this? Yeah, Are you that's comfortable fine. with that? That's okay. Okay. Quick question. Quick. Lightning round. How long have you been gay? Ever since I can remember. Mm. Which is, you know, going back to being like two, maybe. When I was about 14, 15, I was in love with my best friend. We were kind of together. Kind of kept it on the DL because we went to a really strict school. Mm -hmm. We even had like boyfriends on the side, but we... Beards? Yeah. Beard? I think he had a boyfriend too, but he wasn't a beard, you were just figuring no, it out. I was just dating. I also had a boyfriend and he also wasn't a beard, but he also wasn't really a boyfriend. Mm. Yeah, that... Yeah. Let's talk, so let's talk a little bit about coming out. There was one time like I had a hickey on my neck and my mom asked, what's that from? And I was like, oh, from Natalie. And she kind of was taken aback. <laughs> and it was maybe like a few months after that where she asked me whether I was gay. And I just said yes. And I was probably about 16 or so. And she reacted really, really badly to that. Her and I are fine now, but mm. back then she completely lost it. And um, it was really quite a sad, scary time for me to be completely honest. She said everything under the sun that you, you hear about or you watch movies about, right? And we've actually had some family members completely disown all of us as a collective immediate family. So I feel like if you're not gonna love me for who I am, then I can't give you the same yeah. love. So I'm actually at a place in my life right now where I feel really good. So you and your mom are at an okay place right now though? Yeah, we're, we're pretty tight now. And okay. I honestly never thought this this day would come. There were like years where we didn't we didn't speak at all. What was your, what's your story? I realized when I was really young I was gay and then I was had a very tortured, sad, depression-y period of time. So there were some people that I told because it felt natural and some people I told because I felt like they forced it out of me. It wasn't until I got a little bit older that I was actually really comfortable being out. I mean, I don't know, Nikki, like what your story. I probably like came to the realization when I was like 13 or 14. I only came out to my family last year after the Supreme Court ruling. But something that kind of made me wait that long, like if my family knows, they have to come out for me every time they talk to their friends. That is like very nice that you were like thinking about other people. Well, cause my, my family being Asian has something to do with it, right? That's the thing. I was going to say we all have different family values. Yeah. It comes down to culture, comes down to tradition, religion. Yeah. There's so many factors. Whereas for me, I was just like this rebellious asshole teenager who just didn't give a f Tips. 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 Nipples. Tips. I have tips for coming out. Yeah. Tips from Tan. Tips from Tan. Wait, Tan, say that. Tips from Tan. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look so mad. Coming out is very different for everyone. For some people it's incredibly dangerous and I wouldn't recommend it. And for others, it's a walk in the park. I think only you know whether it's safe or not. And if your gut is saying not yet or not at all, go with that. There's no one way to live or come out. Online resources are really handy. Youth forums, yeah. going to like LGBTIQA groups if you can and realizing that you're not alone. We literally have all gone through this. It takes a lot of courage, but you will get there. For people that want some uh, links to places where they can find information or community, we've included some links in the description of this video so you can check some of those out and hopefully get some answers or even some friendship. Ooh. Ah, uh, friendship. Now we're gonna play a little game that I think Nikki made up, but we're here to for it. I didn't make it up. Oh. Tans Tim Tam Slams. <gasps> Tans Tim Tam Slams. Tim Tams are the quintessential Australian biscuit. You're in for a treat. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. 
A Tim Tam slam is when you bite the corners off the Tim Tam, like mm -hmm. diagonally, and you suck through like a hot tea, coffee, hot chocolate. And so it melts the inside, it becomes this really silky, smooth, chocolatey goodness. And then you just shove it all in your mouth. What? Run! So we now have hot chocolate. I'm so excited for Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. Ah. Okay, just, well. Yeah. Got it. Tin tans. Yeah, I had a girl call me Tim Tan once because I bought her a box of Tim Tams as a gift. Did it work out? Yes. <laughs> so you bite the corners. Okay. Get your hottie. Cheers. Cheers. It'll work. And then eat it. Mm. Oh my god, I'm not mm. Whoa. Yum. Again. <laughs> Again? Suck it. <laughs> Did you just lose it? Ugh, oh, flirty. Should we leave the closet, Tam? Yeah. All right, let's bounce. I love you. Bye. We're going this side way. door. Side door. Sort of similar to side boob, but we can say it on TV. I love side boob. Cut.